um, I have to be able to thank God now. I have seen what life could have been. I said, my life is not good. I'm going to be in pain. I'm already in pain. I'm already losing my mind in a sense because of what's happening to me. But I could be living life like these people. I got to say that out loud before I can't. You know, you have this losery of human beings that are enjoying what they're part of. As a matter of fact, they thank them. I would say that as a target individual, you are surrounded by an ecosystem of people who just want to push you to eternity. And I think the people around me, the, my, my surroundings are kamikazes of some sort. When I mean kamikaze, as, as, as in they won't have no self-respect. And I think that's why they thank them so much. They thank them because they don't respect themselves. I mean, for you to be stooping to this level and still trying to find ways to create this false reality. I'm sorry. There's no torture that I can go through to, to be envious of their life. And they still try to maintain this. For me, it's, this, the level of respect is just diminishing by the second. As a matter of fact, they give me this empowerment. And I think they, this, this governmental entities like to, to contract people who are mentally childish. Because for them, it's easier to be in this child level of retardation. Obviously, I'm not identifying with this manipulation. But they're looking for whatever they can to change around. And it's random things they can just change. And because the more random it is, the easier it is to manipulate. Because I'm not going to remember these things. It's nonsensicalness. Let me just say how bad it is and how random it is. We're all familiar with Michael Jackson, right? We are all familiar of him because he's one of the most popular singer, pop star ever. He has children. And people are aware of his children because who Michael Jackson is and you know that he has children I remember when they were kids most of them they like have blankets in their face and there's an older kid I think there's two of them there's a girl and a boy there's this girl called Paris Jackson now she's like a mid 20s I thought she was 28 but she's only 26 so she's like two years younger than what I thought and you know it's funny how they they, they are literally <laughs> that's why God is good I could be a, a loser of a human being right now. Because what's happening today is they're forcing me to have this reaction to children. Now, they try to change, like, no, but when you saw her you're like this and that, I was like, no, you're just twisting your things. And when, when I saw her, and I don't even think if I saw her when she was like an adult yet, but I remember when I'm seeing her, it's like, she doesn't look anything like Michael Jackson. Like, there's no any black in her. Right? Because Michael Jackson is a black man. Even though it doesn't look like it. But they try to create that in like in different perspective. No, you saw her, you wanted that's like what? And try to find ways not by you seeing her like you know how random it is. Paris Jackson, who the f what, what do I care about her? That's how sad and pathetic it gets. That's how they try to present this fucking retardation of stories. It's so sad and pathetic. It's like they're gonna to try to find whatever they can to try to make you accept it. And whatever they can is whatever they can manipulate you, especially something is just so out of just what who the F that I care about Paris Jackson. I know me making even this title makes no sense. They have people in this level of retardation. And you know to make you accept it of this, they start deflecting for the purpose of gaslighting. Gaslight ga gaslighting is a tactic, you guys. They are using gaslighting to distort reality. They want you, gaslighting is this. Gaslighting is a, is a method, is a tactic utilized to distort reality, right? And so, because they're distorting reality in so many ways, psychologically they're manipulating you, and so they want you to accept this false distorted reality, right? So in gaslighting, there's other things that they do, which consist of deflections. So to get, confuse you, to get you lost, to dis confuse you in this whole reality, they will say some random things. It's non-stop. These people do it as a task. Okay, oh, okay, he's seeing this as, he's looking at this, this the way it should be looked at. Hey, talk about how you're gonna be tortured. They won't hear you when they torture you. Why they saying that right now? It's because they want me to think about that. Because 
They want me to accept this retardation. It's like, what? Paris, Paris Jackson? I don't give a shit about Paris Jackson. And then my brain is like, and it stimulated me. Now it's like, what? I've never got stimulated in my life for Paris Jackson. Where, where, where do I care about Paris Jackson? And they try to like, try to find ways to like, no, but when you looked at her, I was like, what? I didn't even care. I was like, okay, that's Paris Jackson. She looked like that. And, they, and that's that. You don't even care about that. They can, they're gonna change it up in my brain. It's like, no, but you were into her. I was like, into her? Paris Jackson? Why? But that's the job. Right now, there's a perp. Right now, saying whatever they need to say to deflect, to say the most disgusting things to disorient you. I get to see these people in person. I get to see these retards of human beings that can say right now, oh, you're so ugly. We watch your death. <laughs> Because they want you to stick with this retardation of thought process. And they're talking in tonality and like, I could be living the life of what you, your life is. You are so sad and pathetic that you're even manipulating Paris Jackson trying to create some. They literally give me stimulation now. What? How pathetic is that? And they're like, yeah, we're gonna win. It's like, you lost. I'm sorry to tell you, you actually lost. Not that I'm not going to experience what you want me to experience with Paris Jackson. It's just that's how pathetic it is. And you don't even know you lost. You're such a loser that you don't understand what, what you're doing. It's what a loser do. And I'm thankful. Me, the dying man, who's going to think about Paris Jackson in these ways all of a sudden. But you're such a loser of a human being. That you don't even recognize how illusory they thank these people because they can be this retarded. They don't even get this. I'm here being a prophet, such a wise man, saying, You think that I ever thought of Paris Jackson, whatever she looks like, what the fuck? I remember seeing her, like, she doesn't look like anything. Now they give me stimulation sensation. I'm like, Oh god, this is so sad. This is so pathetic. Because probably like she was most likely seen at some point when she was a teenager. I didn't even know it was like, oh, did I even see her when she was an adult or when a teenager? Because I remember the black girl. She's such a meaningless person to my, in my mind. That's why they pick her. It's so pathetic. To create this stimulation, like I don't care what she, oh good for her. What do you think? I'll be like, oh Paris Hilton, oh Paris Jackson. At least Paris Hilton, there's somebody who's like in my brain. Paris Jackson, I don't care. Oh good for her, she's like, oh great. It's like, no, but you're, you're stimulated. No, I don't care. What? And they're like, no, but you start like, mm, you look like this. And they're like, in my brain, having this back and forth, like, but you judge her. Like, I judge the fact that she doesn't look black at all. Even though she's supposed to be black. Or half black. Um, you gotta be strong. And I'm so thankful. If I wish I could take the picture of who's talking to me. I can guarantee you it's going to be some teenager retards that are saying these things. So I'm talking to you just stay strong. And I will always bring up the reality of how retarded they have to be. Because today what's happening, they're forcing me to get sexual stimulation to children. Babies to all the kids. They even right now tell me how they're going to frame me with these kids. And they're out here trying to bring Paris Jackson. 